Choices have consequences. How do you live with yourself? when you can't recognize the person you have become. Nyanchamu, <laughs> Murumabo <laughs> I <laughs> <laughs> Mosbat Nadu Kadakor Kusigat. I cheat the Makama chief, and I got you Kumu, got both your rock and Abakama chief in Yumba, but I go to his. Lero, I know your cover, which means single much under no career. Oh no, this is what I want you to do. A caravan of our rebel involved. I want to go to shit. Navan, 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 Tatum, our chief. We got to correct a cash here to make. You want to get on your cover at the Gojago Comasoir as chief. What we can do is to win for Vantava Numbacumi. Bacaric, but I venga, why investigate Kwanzanga Mangana? You make a mine and a very way as an engine to get a part investigation. Kerba Kodra Boygo, the word evidence in a Gokarada Boygo, Morangri Wins, which of his. Quite good. Kurumu <laughs> I go my daughter to what the Obisia Jadabes Lawrence here and South. To what the most or Obisia one and Iroga. Ego, I guess would one or the safe casting angel. Punamuwe Kaye is a Nagochak. Number one, Avana were well protected. They weren't. 
and don't see someone else involved in work. I want to negotiate. The one and the massage on the wins, Tayo, who went to work, Munginoye. My tena kora ni nama tuka mangi kona kuhuri umano truve na mambi mara ko mambi mara ko na baisi abangi bichi pigi pigi na uba sali biye kenyole kiga ngeta itiba na banyaro kabasa ome inkoroche lava nanti kuhuri abantu pa ayo tiyo kuhuri abantu pa na ibe kuhuri kuhuri truve na pa na rakwa moja raba kari ba na truve na istere na raba na biye kenyole kiba sali umano tuko mabukoli ukomuira ewe kamara ko ba. Matukabe <laughs> Lioramanyang <laughs> Sibichi <laughs> Baba to Venet Yango Tavica, eh? Pacadia Kung, it a cool man, be back a man ago, or never more can I chore it. Mosiking, Mosiki, the other one got heavy. But about it, have a such a batat about it. A father, you what? You are lucky you have one. What a kid walker and his own be a man. Come to getting cure, or a baba. Getting cure, or a singing to never touch the root. Eh? Me my tango chit, Unanco, or Sarah, killing a kibon, who soon never touch me. Nanji <laughs> As much as his goof is yet I could be able to look some to sit to go. One of the cutamusk. Digger it in your bay at one it. At least we have a house. Kuragera, total or talk on you and do. You're not in Kinanda to attack. Zenya said to Rasa Tiago poor and corrid it. Vamin Tata and Tata. Eh? Jigen the yoga na chare rogo tebi. 
for us, I didn't have a tail, and live in the Grina of Corrani Vipi, Narago Savonga Coru and Corra. In Javan, I never know what Salivon did a little of what? So I, a guinea, Navera. Now to the two Maveri, Ogan Renna, go over Simon to Ireland. How do you escape from prison when your jailer is the only person that cares about you? My name is Jeras Kbagendi from A Million Hugs. My name is Bella Masanya from International Solidarity Foundation. And to this last episode, Bella, we see um, now Trivena being actually defiled yeah. and out of manipulation. We are moving from a sequence of violence where this guy is violent with the boyfriend. Right. And then it's moving into I am providing so actually I just wanna sleep with you now. Mm -hmm. Or else if you don't do that, I'm gonna leak photos and videos of um of you. That's 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 a huge problem in society, uh, right now with the um, proliferation of mobile phones and all these uh, tech devices that we have. Revenge porn is an, uh, um, a big problem. I'm actually not sure this is a point for me to go do more research if we have laws against uh, specifically uh, revenge porn. And do you know how brazen he is because he knows this is an underage um, person. They are under 18, they are a child, but he's still I think he preys on her ignorance that, you know, I can, I can blackmail her with these photos that I took while she was unaware and without her consent and she will keep quiet. I can threaten her that I'll go tell her dad and she'll keep quiet because ideally it is Trufena that's supposed to be reporting him. It's Trufena that's supposed to be telling him, I'll go tell my father what you're doing to me. But now the script has been reversed, which is now kind of starting to mirror the script of uh, the mother. The man is violent, he provides, but uh, with, with, with um, uh, restrictions, mm -hmm. does not use protection. Verbally you know, abusive. Verbally abusive. It's, it's pretty much the, the, the script of, of the mother. And, and this reminds me also within, within this episode when Trufena confronts the mother, you know, why you with this man, he's abusive, he does not provide, eh, he's, he's clouding your judgment with the shopping, that he's, is his responsibility something that he's actually supposed to do every day. And then the mother says, you have to respect him still. This is the man I married. At least you have a father. Some people wish they had fathers, but you don't have a father. She really has a very bad template to compare to. Absolutely, mm. absolutely. I like the, the, the term you've used there, the template, mm. which is the template now, you know, in my thinking, I think this is the exact same template that Trevena's mother also had. Exactly. Uh, probably it's, it's now a cycle. That is what she had, and now Trevena is falling right into replicating that template. And if she actually looks in the mirror, she'll actually realize that this is what the is It's pretty doing. much the same. It's yeah. pretty much the same. I think I'll still hold on to that glimmer of hope where in the monologue she sounds like she has some sense of self-awareness mm -hmm. but at the same time it is compromised by her situation of poverty. Mm -hmm. I think really also this speaks to the effects, very profound effects that poverty can cause in the society. Absolutely. You know, to the mother, to the father, to the you know, to the, yeah. Um, but at the same time, I think we also have to talk about the, 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 the woman who confronted the border border operator. Yes. Um, I mean, this has been my call to everyone who attends our community dialogues that let's not be just bystanders. Right. Let's take action. It's a collective responsibility. We have to stand and speak out. Yeah. And even the chief was telling us that 
part of the reason why these cases can happen this way and then we don't have anyone who wants to come forward and be a witness and say I saw this happening right. uh, and this is exactly what happened so a lot of cases end up not people end up not getting justice because there are no witnesses and even when there are people in the community who actually witness that um, violence happen I mean I have to ask the audience uh, you know, because he's talking about uh, witnesses. If your brother is violent towards your sister-in-law and saying Bakumi or a chief came knocking at your, at your door, asking you to be a witness or asking you to write a statement, make a statement, accu not really accusing, but you know, admitting that indeed your brother is violent, would you actually do that? Or would you be like, this is my brother, this is my family, I cannot do that. Because also in the episode we see the, 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 mm. uh, the part where, the, where this woman comes to the children's office to report. Mm. But at the same time she says, how can I report when the chief is a brother of my husband? Exactly. What does this communicate about the society that we live in, that we cannot out-perpetrators because they are our relatives, because they are known to us, which is why it is very important for us to be change makers, because this woman who confronts the Boda Boda rider is, for me, she is sort of like the saving grace for uh, Truvena. You know, as much as she, she, she realizes that her situation is not the most ideal, the most healthy environment for a young girl of her age, she still has some support, somebody that she did not even go to seek support from, somebody who really spotted the wrongdoing within society. And so for me, my call is, when you look back as an individual in the community you live in, would you be happy of the life you've lived? Or would you see wrongdoing and just let it be because it doesn't affect you? Something to think about. We are seeing um, Ombeo finally asking for forgiveness from Rivena. And my question is, do you think she should forgive him for what he has done to her? And yes, if he forgives her, what next for Tribune?